West Valley cities are continuing to keep a close eye out for potential flooding due to runoff from today's rain. News Channel 3's Tatum Larson is live in Desert Hot Springs with an update on road conditions. Tatum. Well, hi, John. Um, I've been touring the roads all day today in Desert Hot Springs, and I haven't seen much of anything. Um, as Haley said, we haven't been seeing any accumulation here, but mountain runoff remains a concern. And as you can see, things are looking pretty calm out here. And I confirm with the city that there are no road closures happening, so good news. Um, but there are still road closures in the city, uh, such as this, this one behind me here, Indian Canyon Drive and Dillon Road that remains closed from tropical tropical storm Hillary cover, uh, excuse me, damage. I checked in with the city for an update on road conditions and also residents for how they've adjusted their routes. Take a look. It's raining, get ready. Raul Cardenas is like many Desert Hot Springs residents who are ready to change course when rain leads to flooded roads. It's not ideal, but it's what most residents consider a given, especially after tropical storm Hillary. You have to go all the way to Date Palm where some people are even going way over to uh, Monterey. <laughs> You know, just to get to work or wherever. Uh, and especially at night, you know, uh, if you don't see tomorrow, it's kind of dangerous. Uh, you get used to it. Uh, either way, you're going to uh, get the blunt of the rain, you're going to get the blunt of the flood, you're going to get the blunt of street closures. So uh, you deal with it. Lorenzo Baldwin says that using roads like Date Palm has been his go to as the city works to reopen Dillon Road and Indian Canyon Drive. After Hillary, it was a madhouse. But like I say, we, we dealt with them and you know, we did the best we could. The city of uh, Desert Hot Spring, they're doing the best they can with the road service. You know, they give us notice, but it's still an inconvenience, but we've been through it. I went to uh, Palm Springs the uh, day before yesterday and uh, there's a flood coming from, uh, I think, uh, white water. Uh, and it, it, it was so, so bad that uh, it took uh, like one day to clean up the, the car. Alfredo Hueso says he'd like the city to consider other options. Well, I think we need more uh, uh, safety roads going out of the city. But in the meantime... You just have to know where you're going, mm -hmm. you know, ahead of time and beat the traffic. That's about all you can do. Well, city officials told me that Indian Canyon Drive is still set to reopen at the end of March, followed by Dillon Road at in April. Reporting live in Desert Hot Springs, Tatum Larson, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Tatum. And that, that, of course, is covering Desert Hot Springs area. We do have road closures in Palm Springs. Gene Autry Trail and, again, Indian Canyon, both closed through the Whitewater Wash south of Interstate 10. Police say there's some flooded areas. Vista Chino remains open as of now. Stay with News Channel 3 for updates on this first alert weather alert day.